Hi, it's Bridget. Welcome to Above Life channel. The purpose here is to inspire your spirit and fill you up with hope. This weekly channel, I believe, will do just that. It will hit the spot for you, if you're looking for inspiration, that is. We will be chatting with Maya Angelou from The Afterlife. All right, so let's begin our conversation. This is a conversation style channel. Okay, so, uh, all right, as I was getting things ready and set to do this video, there was a lot of little tweaks and things I needed to make sure I had set in place. A lot of details that go into trying to record a video, especially when you're doing it when your family's home. <laughs> like me, I'm a working mom, and so it's busy in the house, and a lot of little details and things and trying to find the right place to, to do the video and there's just a lot. And I hear, as I'm doing that, Maya says to me, settle down, Missy. Everything will turn out all right. <laughs> like, okay, thank you, settle down, Missy. Okay, all right, uh, trying to be a little funny. Now, Maya Angelou is a poet and she's very well known for the beauty of the words that she shares, so I'm looking forward to channeling with her. Thank you so much, Maya, for being here today. And she says, oh, you're quite welcome, dear. Her voice shakes a bit when she's talking, she's speaking to us. I know, Maya, that your words are across cards and greeting cards everywhere and in inspirational books and throughout many speeches that you've given and things that you've written. And I also know that you were a huge inspiration to Oprah Winfrey. And I feel very honored to be able to connect with you. She says, well, thank you. Thank you very much. She says, thank you. I would love to ask you for words of inspiration, words of insight. And I know that that's a vast canvas for you as a creative artist, as a writer, as a speaker of words to begin our opening. But perhaps I can say, what words of wisdom would you offer to us, to those of us who are watching and listening to this right now at this very moment in time, the words that will encourage and support us? What would you like to offer to us as we open up this channel today? Wow, her energy is very graceful powerful there's a splendor and a a vastness to her presence please take a moment as you are watching this connection or listening to feel the energy i feel it in my throat i feel it in my heart and i invite you to do the same and her first words are <laughs> words are not enough to add meaning to your life. That is a choice, a path that only you choose for yourself. And at times it does seem that life is being done to you and unfolding before you in ways that you can't even begin to believe that you created for your soul from your soul, she says, from your soul, to experience here. It is with little, with very little understanding that I can speak to you about your path, your crossroads. It seems many are in a place of a crossing of roads. And that crossing of roads that it looks like a for, uh, it looks like a T, you guys, an intersection point, not a fork in the road. That crossing of roads presents you with an opportunity, an option of this or that. And what brought you to this moment are all the choices, the string of the stops that you've made along the way to this point. 
And now, perhaps it's a new adventure. Maybe a new journey for you. Maybe perhaps this moment has brought you to the point of, she says, has brought you to, it's a, she's saying uh, like a decision path. Can you explain more? There is a desire to bring forth in a context that human minds can understand. It is true what you have said. The vastness of opportunity is here. And while in many ways it's a dying off, a shedding the old, the newness that taste of adventure. That is part of human nature. It's easier for me to close my eyes when I'm feeling her energy, so I'm going to do that. So I can tune into her feeling and the emotion she's sharing. Okay, everyone feel that in the heart. There is a truth that comes from the core part of you, the core of what you are being. And when there is discord, you seek harmony. You want so much, you crave so deeply the connection of not simply your own soul, but for the connection, the soulful connection with others and the community of souls that you are here on earth to experience and express together in unity. Although there is much discord and much disagreement and many, many, many conflicts around you, all around you, it seems that this space is not sacred and it is a place of desperation, despair, and disagreement. But the truth, the pure accord of truth, it lives inside you. It beats in that soulful space inside you. And your purest desire is to connect in relationship, whether it is a relationship of peace or of discord. You seek the experience and through this expression, that is the sacred. That is what the soul has come into a body that is limiting in its mind and the capacity to process its belief system, its values, its understanding and confusion about what it sees with human eyes. It is for the soul to add the vision and the purpose of that mission that you are here, all and each and every one is for the relationship and the connection and in those experiences, in those expressions, whether you deem them good or bad, it is no matter. It is no matter for the mind. It is in the body that you are expressing the soulful desire of connection. And this is the content that you have come into a body on, a human, on the human plane to be. And that is a hard pill to swallow at times. Indeed it is. It is not easy. But it is not without ease either. What are you choosing? It is not intended as a hardship and a constant state of disillusionment. It is much more, much more than what you could perceive on the surface of things. It is so much more. Oh, child of the universe, you are indeed a magnificent expression 
of the light of the soul in the purest desire for connection. That is who and what you are. Intended, intended and created in a form to be. And the becoming of that, the becoming of that is your, your job. That is the process of living. Oh, oh my eyes are like so itchy. Maya, the point of life from what you are sharing with us is the relationships and the experiences that we have and the expression of living from what you have shared is that all that we want as humans is really the, that the desires that we have and the, the intentions that we create from those desires is really from our soul wanting relationship, wanting connection, and the expression of connection comes in human form in relationships that we have with other humans and experiences we have collectively and interpersonally. That's what I feel like and I heard you bring forward in, in your message. Is that accurate? And if it is, what in the mind advice <laughs> can you give us humans to help us to embody that and to really digest, understand that energy? It does seem like wishful thinking, doesn't it? Do you believe me when I share all of these magical, mystical words? It seems sort of as, a, as if it was a myth that the purpose of, the, of you being a person is to allow your spirit to have relationship with other persons. And it seems a bit ironic and very much brings forward contrast to think of the whole purpose, the whole intent of being created in a body is to allow the spirit to experience the expression through of connection through relationship. And in the mind, advice would be something along the lines of to live and let live is to allow to allow the truest part of you to be seen and being seen is a very tricky thing it is not for the faint of heart being visible not in order to gain gratitude or prestige or accommodations but it is more to be visible so that you are able to fulfill your mission in your deepest desire of your soul which is to have relationship in order to have relationship you must be seen and to be seen can create a level of fear in the mind that is constantly trying to keep you under that radar so that you will be safe and protected within the comforts of the orchestrated structure of experiences that the mind wishes to lay out before you. And it really does not matter the sequence of events of your life or the experiences that caused you to be in this way here today. It does not matter what got you here. What matters is the moment that you make the choice and then recognize that you are creating through your soul's desire the experiences that you choose to have. What you are seeking is relationship. And in order to have that, in order to truly have that, you must experience visibility. And visibility brings a darkness a shadow side that creates fear and worry, anxiety, things like failure and value, self-worth and 
freedom of expression all mixed into one, one being. And the mind will try to create a safe way, a safe uh, expression of this, but the mind cannot. The mind is science and scientific in nature, and it is built for that and it serves you well. But the freedom you seek is in the creative expression of the soul. And through relationships in the human form is how you achieve the connection. Your purpose is connection. Just remember that and allow yourself to recognize that you will get all parts of this. Connection is not about only the positive and the goodness of things. Sometimes what is brought to you is not palatable to you. It is not even digestible. And I am not suggesting to you that you must accept everything that is brought to you in the experiences, the expression of relationships that you have. No, 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 no. In fact, the latter is more important and that is to be in your fullest view, in the fullest visibility of what is available to you. Then you see the 360 degree view. You are at the top of the penthouse, my dears, and you then, from that point, you then can recognize how small, small, how small that shadow is really cast. It is a small pebble, a bead. It is not a huge black hole ready to suck you in unless you choose to stay on that track of the negative, the circumstances, the focusing on what is gray and the darkness of things, then you create more of the same. And yes, that is Law of Attraction, Bridget. And I know that is one of those things that you like to talk about and that you wish to know more about. Is that true? Yes, it is. Let's talk Law of Attraction. Maya, will you please, thank you for that. Thank you very much for that. Will you please share with us what Law of Attraction is? Help us to understand what that topic of Law of Attraction, or maybe I should make it a little broader for some viewers might not know a lot about Law of Attraction, but about how we manifest, how do we create in our human experience? How do we do that? What is our role in our creation and manifestation? Let's ask it in that context. I'm excited for this one. Everybody get ready to receive this one. I'm afraid it's not as profound as you might want it to be, Bridget. <laughs> That's what she says. But you're so eloquent and articulate, please. Just we will receive any of the poetic energy that comes from you, Maya, and we will receive it with abundance and prosperity. And she says, and that is the nature. That is the nature of what you ask to make, to make something, to birth something into your reality. There is indeed a process that comes through you. Whether you acknowledge it in your awareness of the mind or not, you are physically creating what is coming from the energy that you choose to be in company with. And so if you are choosing to have the atmosphere within you, not just simply around you in your external environment, but within you. If that atmosphere is gray skies and windstorms and rain and many, many days of darkness and less light, then that is what you will see with human eyes and experience in your physical world. Your reality in the 3D world is very much a reflection of how you, 
how you are living inside of yourself. You, you would, it would serve you well to look within and recognize this body inside and the energy within you as the home. And the rooms within the home are the energies that are serving you. And what are they serving? How are you, how are you choosing the energies that stay and get to be in your home of you? And then in turn, what you are making, bringing forward into your 3D reality is very much a pure reflection of what you are believing, believing inside of your being. And that is not the mind. It may be that your mind is dominant and it, it, it is controlling or managing the process of making your 3D reality. And yet the way to, to be successful and feel fulfilled is to have the connection and the truest form of relationship, which is within yourself, inside of yourself, your spirit, your heart, that which you purely are, whether you, when you are not in a body, when you are out of a body and you are living in an eternal energy field, you can allow yourself to sustain and maintain that sort of leveling of energy. If you are thinking of a scale of ascension or a scale of different vibrations, like the music scale, that the notes sometimes are high and sometimes are low, and when they come together, they create a flow, which is music. And that music is very much a metaphor for the way the energy is flowing inside of you and thus creating the symphony that is around you. Now, you do not have control over how others react and respond to your energy, what you bring forward, what you are making. But you can bet that when others reflect back to you something that upsets that harmony that you're naturally having a rhythm and it takes you off pace or it forces a disconnect or a separation, that is because there's a part of you that can feel the pain, the pinging of whatever it is that that energy is bringing to you to see. It's a reflection of some sort of a discord, disconnection within you and your experience. Not This is not about past. This is not even looking back upon your human life and having reflections and healing broken bridges. It is about acknowledging the fullness and the wholeness of who you are inside of you. And that is when you begin to then recognize, when you are recognizing, when you actually are in the awareness of the energy that you bring that you, is because the reflection of what comes out is what a reflection of what's in, then that, then that is the starting point for what you can bring, you can begin to create your own music create your own energy and when it becomes a song when it becomes an album a symphony the chorus what you are consistently repeating is what creates so you can manifest what you choose to manifest when you are at this level of depth when you are at this in the state of willingness to acknowledge that what is inside that is coming out and is being reflected back at you, the parts that are in discord are showing up for you so you're not satisfied with that. So you ask deeper questions of yourself. So you challenge yourself to grow more, not so that you hide and you recoil and you stop being present so that you jump in fully, you lean in more deeply, you commit more fully to life. And that is the essence of what manifestation is. That is what is creating. That is what is manifest, that is what is making the 3D experience of your reality because you choose to learn, to grow. So if you see, you see, if you see life, my dears, as an extension of learning more about what's inside of you and that this is the, the jewel and this is the discovery, it's in, inner, it's an inner journey and that process of learning and growing, then what is brought to you, whether it is a heaviness, a shadow, a darkness, it still brings you some wisdom. It, it ignites within you the opportunity to connect 
whether it's reconnecting outside of you or connecting inside of you. I don't, I don't expect anyone to fully comprehend the depth of what is your, your journey, your personal experiences, whether it's in the energetic form of your, your higher being or whether it's in your mind, your in, brilliant and intellectual mind, creating a 3D reality where your body is the, this temple and not just a workhorse. Your body is not a mule. It is indeed a temple a beautiful and sacred temple. And as she's saying that, I'm feeling like a temple, like a rhythm. And my mind just literally felt like it was kind of, um, like there was a clearing. All of a sudden there was like this download of a, oh, understanding like, and I get it. Even though I can't in my mind understand this <laughs> energetically, and may, perhaps maybe as I bridge it, listen back to this and watch this, I can perhaps, um, it feels like a huge buffet, like we just got a banquet set out before us of energy and to allow ourselves to take pieces of that and, and even maybe even go back and watch this and listen to this and take some notes of what stands out to you. Perhaps that's how you could deepen your learning. And I too will do that. Oh, Maya, Maya Angelou. Thank you for this gift, for, for all of the incredible wisdom that you've shared with us. And like I said, there's so much more than just what you've shared in words. And the context here is deeper and more broader. So those who are viewing and listening to this can receive the energy of it and allow, let's allow together everyone who's viewing and watching this, this the, the expansion that comes from this kind of knowledge, this beautiful wisdom. This is the point of afterlife connection. This is the point of channeling well-known influential people, former people from the afterlife. And this is what the spirit is. This is what the connection is. This is what the point is, everyone, everyone. This is what the point is of all of this work. Thank you so much, Maya. It, it really feels, I can really feel energy in the heart. And it feels like there was just like a Santa package, a gift, a big Santa sack put in the heart space, presents to open up and unpack. And my mind feels like there was a download of information. And I appreciate that. So files that we, you, I invite you to access in your own meditations, while you're doing yoga, while you're on a walk with the dog, allow yourself to let these gifts of energy, awareness, information from the discussion with Maya, what Maya has brought forward from the afterlife for you, allow them to be fully received. Allow them to be fully received. Ah, <sighs> wow. This is Bridget. You have been watching a channeling what like not unlike the other channelings that we share every week here at Above Life Channel. I hope that your spirit has been inspired and that you've been able to get filled up with hope. Because the point is, the point is, this is your life. This right now is your life. So what you do with this content, it's yours. It's up to you. And the point is for you to live it to fully live. That is my wish for you. Thank you so much for watching.